Okay, so we've finished the tricopter and um, after yesterday's crash up on the roof I uh, decided to tie it down and had another go this morning and um, everything worked better. I, uh, the only thing I changed really was I moved the uh, gain wires from the, uh, from the gyros from the throttle channel to the gain channel and change the gain for the rudder gyro to the throttle channel. Um, I don't know why but this seems to have uh, solved the problem. Also I had the uh, the elevator gyro reversed so that's why it flipped over when it took off yesterday. Um, but yeah I, I flew it very quickly on the roof this morning and it hovers really well. I've uh, just been playing around with the settings on the gain and uh, I seem to have it at about 42% um, and that at the moment seems to be okay but now we're going to give it a proper flight and see what happens <laughs> see if it ends up in pieces or not okay Very stable now. Super stable now. Okay, one of the arms moved. A little bit, a little bit nose heavy, but that's good because I've got plenty of room to move the battery back. Okay, the arms moved again, so we need to sort that out. But uh, as you can see, it works really well. Um, so just to go through everything on it. Okay, so we have the three gain the uh, three gyros for the cyclic control and the tail gyro. The receiver here, just a cheap receiver. Um, underneath here, we've got the uh, the uh, external beck 
and the on off switch here uh, on the front here I've got the um, alarm the voltage alarm because you do not want your uh, speed control controllers to go into cutoff <laughs> unless you want to crash so you set your uh, low voltage cutoff to the minimum on the speed controllers um, and then have your alarm set to 3.7, 3.6, something like that so that this alarm goes off before the speed controllers cut out also you see here I've got the two leads uh, showing you uh, this is the uh, connection for the battery okay so when I connect the battery the uh, the uh, Beck is uh, is armed, which turns on all the gyros. And um, once they are armed, then I plug in this wire with the Dean connector, which then uh, connects all the speed controllers. And uh, once you connect the speed controllers, as you probably heard, it be all the motors beep twice. You have to have the uh, the uh, throttle stick at high throttle. After they beep twice, you lower it. But I found if you lower it too quickly the motors all tend to start up at different times so you have to lower the stick at a nice steady pace down to minimum throttle and then they all seem to uh, start up at, a, at the bright time but there you go it works very happy